First, let's create a new composition. Now, this could be whatever you want. I'm going to do regular 1920 by 1080, but say you want to put this, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do 1000 by 1000, as if we were going to post this on something like Instagram. I'm going to add my white background, Command Y, Control Y for you PC users, and make it white. And that looks pretty good. I want that clean white background that we all see in you know, modern sort of design and app and tech stuff. Then I'm going to take, well, first rename this to app, or I'll just call this iPhone. Then I'm going to take the app and drag it in here on top of our white solid and drag it down or make the size smaller. Something like 30 is pretty good. Next, what I want to do is create the iPhone outside layer. Now, I know the new iPhone 10 that's coming out, which by this time, it's probably an old phone. They probably have like an iPhone 25 by the time you're watching this. But I know they're getting rid of the home button, and that's why I don't want any more home button. So what I'm going to take is the rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to change the color to sort of a dark charcoal color. And then what I'm going to do is just click and drag around and I'm going to have to edit this and I'll rename this to iPhone. Okay, so let us zoom in. I'm going to lock my app layer so I don't touch it. Take my selection tool and let's just try to make it so that the edges are the same width and I can align this center, horizontal and vertical. And that looks pretty good. Maybe the top and bottom is a little bit bigger. Maybe we want everything to be a little bit bigger, actually. Actually, no, they're trying to get rid of all those edges on the on all these phones. So let's do something like that looks pretty darn good. OK, so now we have our iPhone. The next thing I want to do is pre-compose this. So it's just one thing that I can control and move around. So select the app and the iPhone. Right click, pre compose. I'll call this phone with app. And now I can create my reflection. So, while what I want to do is duplicate this, just Command D while I select it. Let's rename this to reflection. Let's rotate this 180 degrees and then drag it down. And what I'm actually going to do is parent this to the phone so that if I move the phone up, or make it smaller, which I'm going to do, it looks good. Next, let's drop the opacity of the reflection. So press T on your keyboard to bring up opacity. Let's drop it to 50, maybe even, let's see what I used here, 50, yeah. So 50 looks pretty good. And then the thing that I think makes this, sells it a little bit more is this sort of fade off and I did that with a simple mask animation so or mask um, mask and feathering so with reflection selected I can take my pen tool and then just click actually maybe just click click and let's extend this and cool that looks pretty good we can change it later Press F to bring up feathering. Let's feather this out. Now let's actually just move this up just a little bit. So we just get a little bit. And the cool thing about this, and again, why I think it sells it, is that you see the animation in that and it makes it so easy. You don't have to like animate this separately, create some sort of custom shape. You're just using pre-comps, rotations, ma masks, and opacity to get this nice reflection. Okay, so to add, a, make this a little bit cooler, what I'm actually going to do is add a 3D rotation. So if you wanna make it like this, all you have to do where it's going across the frame is just do a position animation, make it go left to right. Pretty simple, right? And do that to the phone with app layer. But what I'm gonna do is enable 3D for both layers, press R, and what I'm going to do is a simple Y rotation. Now, I don't want to go too far because this is After Effects and these are 2D layers. But if I just go to like negative 7 or something like that, set a keyframe for negative 7, 
and then go to the end and set one for positive seven. I think it sells it pretty well. That's very subtle. Maybe we want to go a little bit more. And actually, let's rotate the other way. So 10 to negative 10. And maybe let's just do a little scale animation too. So scale, we're going to zoom in. So scale right there. And then at 85. And let's move that to the end actually. And then in the beginning, let's go down to 80. So it's just slowly zooming in. And it's got this subtle rotation, which I think is an, another sort of cool way to animate this. clean, nicely designed, and can you believe that this is something that you could do yourself? You have all the skills and the tools to do something like this, and we did this in less than an hour. You can, you know, imagine if you spent a day actually working on an After Effects design or a user uh, design animation for a real world app or something that's a little bit more complicated. You could imagine how cool that you could make something. But in this class, I just want to show you the basics, give you the tools, the basic steps to get to those more advanced features and projects, and then I'll let you take it from there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed teaching this one, and I'm going to go ahead and post this on social media. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you can, post it on social media. Post your project, maybe change it up a little bit, at least change the colors, and tag me at Phil Ebner and at Video School Online on all your social media platforms. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next lesson.